Welcome on back everyone, Ever Air giving you another exciting episode with the return with more of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Nintendo Switch Walking Tour. It's the last time because uh, we had to stumble inside the um, the the inside of the, the Dead Mountain, it's where we are. And, and we take a look at our like, inventory because we're able to patch up, let's, let's say, how many of the, the, the spice that we that we patch up. Okay, so we got here inside one of the Elister, so where do we put that Elister at? Um, hold on, so it gotta be somewhere around food. Yeah, it felt to me because we ran out because uh, we we used this uh, one of this um this elixir to go in and uh, and get heat right out of this um this death mountain. In case we, we in case we get hot, then we'll we'll, we'll definitely go and use one of the um the the, the flame the, the flame was elixir whatever it's called. Yeah, because it's been so long since I not played uh Breath of the Wild, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, not Breath of the Wild. Because uh, I want to even plan on studying it to know what sort of elixir that we patch up in our inventory. So here we are now. So we're going to go in, knock out the, one of this uh, brand new shrine, which is somewhere above at the uh, Death Mountains. So uh, we'll probably go ahead and do this skip. So what we got here is um, a whole lot to see through this uh, shrine. So let's go look forward to this. Well, we, we might as well solve more puzzles. We might solve more articles. Who knows? I mean, we, we know the rest. And we might as well encounter many more new Guardians activity. Uh, well, no, I, I mentioned, um, what are those things are called? Okay, so we got here, it's a, a controlling device. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure these guys used to look like Guardians because um, they are made out of Z Zonites for in that sort of situation. Okay, so uh, let's see what we were supposed to do with this vehicle. So let's see, now we were supposed to select one and take it to the lava. And then what? So we just go start it up. Okay, well that looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, <laughs> well that looks kind of fun. Okay, we're, we're just steering it in the right, the right direction. Okay, so I need to go and take a picture just to... Just to make sure I'm not getting my memory right. Okay, so we, we got here it for Soldier Constructs, which made out of Zonites. Alright, so I'll go ahead and use what, what, what weapon I'm using. Okay, so I got here the blue ball as Boko Rice, which I still have. Okay, so I'll go and sh shut you down. Take some of your parts. And take a look at all of these devices and every uh, one of these mechanics. So we wanted to see what we were supposed to, to head to. So uh, Wait a minute, now what appear to be at the bottom? Okay, well, I don't see any... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now I can barely see the path of where we need to be going. But it's hard for me to say because I don't quite actually see any uh, treasure chests. Okay, well, I want to keep on exploring a bit. I'm pretty sure because of various, like... Way too much to see around here. So let's not forget because uh, we need to, to find out where those treasure chests are. Okay, so we can take this vehicle. So we're going to bat the vehicle and turn this vehicle around. Okay, so we're going to back up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I think this is where we park. So there was this uh, treasure chest this whole time. So uh, in order to, to open it, we need to go and and solve the the problem or wh whatsoever how to get the um, the the, the door to open. Now how exactly are we supposed to do that? Can we use the ultra set, the, the ultra hand? Uh, okay, I don't think we can. So how exactly do we open it? Oh, right, you know what? I think we need a spear. Now, to do that, I mean, like, how exactly do we get that spear? Now, there had to be a better solution to all of this. I don't know if the link is going to, to fly up there. But let's find out. Okay, so we do need the controls, right? Um, hold on. So, 
I have one of this control, but I can't attach to it. Okay, let's see what happens if we take tear this apart. Because we need to steer the uh, the Zonai plane up a bit more. So let's put it right about here. Yeah, that'll do. And then we go and stuff this up. And then we go take them off. So can we fly sky high? Okay, well I don't quite actually see a spear from above. Okay, so where is that spear? Okay, we can fly anywhere we we like without using the the um the what's it yeah well without the, the battery we don't need that much of a battery. So uh, how exactly can we possibly find the spear? So can we try flying up some? Okay, where in the world is that spear at? Okay, this is bad. We're losing... We're, we're losing steam. Okay, so... So yeah, so we just go crash site down to her. So we'll just keep it right about down here and go out and explore a bit more and find out where that spear is. Now, what's this uh, flat piece of surface underneath? But I, I just couldn't tell what it, that is. Okay, so let's put in this vehicle this way. But there gotta be something more. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. I, I can't trip through lava. That's right. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> now it's gonna be a little head start there. Okay, so we can just bring that a little bit closer. Start the bad boy off. Oh, I see now, I see. Okay, so the spear is right over there. Okay, so we'll go stop this. Alright, so that spear is coming home with us. So we'll just go ahead and stick it. And we'll, no, okay, no, we're gonna back me the vehicle. Alright, so we want to make sure that we, we back the vehicle because that's the only way we, when we're driving a car, when we're, when we're parking, we just back the, um, the vehicle, simple as that. And then we just turn this vehicle around with the spear that we, we stick right out of it. Okay, so um, that's a perfect parking. So uh, let's get out of that and you know what? Okay, hold on. So, um, <laughs> that felt kind of awkward because we were supposed to take this vehicle right on this uh, very own, the, the very right corner. Yeah, so it's best that we go and park it just uh, right about, no, 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 hold on. No, we're going to slip. We're going to slip. We don't want to do that. So, how about if we park the vehicle, let's say, yeah, I mean, we can park the vehicle just perfectly fine. So we're gonna get out of that, unstick this beer, and place it next in the seal. So now that we see that the doors go opening, so the doors just go open magically. So we go open to see what we get inside. Okay, so we're able to get here at the Mighty Construct Mode, which have more but the but 32, and that can increase up the, the attack by 8. Okay, so you know what? We can get rid of the, the construct bow. They have uh, a low agility by five, so uh, we'll we'll drop that. All right, and we will press onward up this ladder. So, uh, okay, Link, please, please, just get up the ladder. Thank you. Okay, so we can continue moving through this way. Okay, and I do recall correctly. So this is where we go and. And sit be on the be on the plane bear with the control. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take flight of action. 
Okay, well, I don't mind bubbling to stuff and then just crashing down to my certain doom where you, you see below the abyss because that's nothing compared to what's whatsoever it lies up below it. Okay, well, there's nothing but, um, but death beneath it. Okay, perfect. So, we can proceed onward to this uh, main control device. And we place our right hand there. So we're able to get another bit of light, a blessing. Like we always see the light of day. Okay, and there we go. So we got here is um, full health. So we're able to move out of this temple. Or as, so as we say, because this is only one of the shrines we, we took out. So we're able to keep it more than 24 of the light of blessing. Alright, and yeah, so as you guys can see, while I'm still on my climbing gear, so I'm on my flame breaker armor and my Hylian trouser, and except for the bandana, which I can climb a little bit like faster. Okay, now that's one of the other uh, shrines we were able to conquer. So if we look at the objective again, so we go press some mining. So go into our adventure log real quick. Um, okay, so so it says here because uh, so this is for the noble of Goron City. Okay, so we had to okay. So if you go to Death Mountain with Princess Zelda and the noble last method, you may be able to find a lead. Okay, well that's what it usually say on our objective. So if I can find something to stand on, I can go in and ascend in a good opening spot. Okay, so. That seems perfectly right. Okay, so can I stop crouching? Okay, you know what? I don't have to ascend. Uh, let's move back the camera just in case. Just in case we take pictures of brand new creatures. So what does this sign say? Reminder uh, for, for reminder for highly workers. The rare that substance that that spouts are from the cracks that envy the ground is called gloom. Avoid it at all costs. Come into contact with gloom that drains your vitality. If you touch it, it gets away from it immediately and rests. Resting in the refresher air over the surface is recommended. Alright, so let's get a move on. So we got here more of this uh, center line we can pick up. And then we go move upstairs. Link, over there. Okay, so what more are we seeing? Alright, well, we'll, we'll go follow your lead. Oh, that way? That's what it's trying to tell me? I mean, we had to go just straight this way? Okay, so whatever it was. Okay, so I think we do need you know for this. So we need to break down this red rock. So where is Noble at now? Okay, you know, but we, we need you, buddy. So where are you at? Okay, so why are you Noble over there? There's only, like, so many of these red rot. So, what exactly are we trying to do here? Alright, hold on. So, let's go back up some more. Okay, so we have to go and talk to him. Alright, so we just wait and see. Well, I know there's not gonna be any. Hold on. I think it was near here. When I came up the mountain, I saw her. The princess was standing right here, Goro. And then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um. Oh, jeez. It's no use. I can't remember anything that happened after that. Oh. Oh. There she is! Princess! Princess Zelda! We need to talk to you! It's dangerous!
Whoa, that, that thing that broke out of the crater like it, it was nothing. Is that the marble rocket? Is it alive? And if there's a few of those things? Hang on, no. Those are heads. It's so big, how could something that the large appear out of nowhere like that? Hmm. I never seen anything like this on Death Mountain, Goro. If we don't take that thing out, then who knows what will happen to Princess Zelda. Hmm. But I can't exactly charge at it from down here. Oh. Any ideas, Lane? Okay, so new adventure log says here, just as you will cut sight of Zelda at the Death Mountain Crater, a massive red rock monster appeared from a crater blocking your entry. In order to follow after, in order to, to chase after Zelda, you must defeat the monster. Okay, so these monsters were called Moragias. That is what I usually saw in my very own eyes. Oh boy, it's real big! So we had to defeat both three creatures and proceed to, to Zelda's steed. Alright, well, let's keep pressing onward. So, we're still in our frame, flame breaker armor, which is going to get extremely hot. So, let's see how we do. So, we just gotta keep climbing and stop all of these Moragias. Alright, so we're gonna get the, um, the, the full climb of Ashen. Alright, so we'll move on this way. So, wait a minute. So, what do these signs say? So let's go to Zaman. Okay, 100, 100 famous mountain of Hyrule had to have one Death Mountain Summit. Okay, so now it's going to start raining meteors everywhere. But it looks to, 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 to look like meteors, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are. Because it felt to me because they're going to be raining some molten rock raining down beyond us. Okay, but I do need a, cre a picture of these creatures. But wait a minute, so how am I getting burned? Hold on, there's no way. There's no freaking way I'm getting burned. Um, okay, well... Let's eat. Okay, so we, we shouldn't be that burnt. Okay, well, keep pushing, Link. Keep pushing. You're doing fine. No pressure. How is it getting so hot? Ah, oh, come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. You got this, Link. You got this. Okay, so we got one of his meat and rice bowl. Let's eat that. And we'll go eat one of his roasted bass. And we do have here is uh, 75 of the raw meat. So yeah, let's eat that too. And yeah, all of that can go to waste too. Yo, are we even getting close to the more Moragia? It sure was a long way up there, so okay, come on, let's stop climbing. Okay, I need a picture of this creature. Can you stop being burned? It doesn't even hurt by one bit. Okay, hold on. Um, Let's just keep eating everything. How is Link taking damage like that? You know what? Let's keep getting more. Um, how do I go back to the, yeah, so we need to go back to the surface. Let's just head back to the shrine we work to. Okay, wait, I can't travel to that shrine? What are you talking about? I'm being burnt. I'm about to die. Oh, screw this anyway. Let's just, let's just leave. We'll come back to that later. I, I can't take so much damage because I'm not wearing the right flame breaker gear. Because I already got the armor, I need to still keep getting more. Now can I still teleport? Please? Why can't I not travel there? Come on game. This is ridiculous. Can I please leave? 
I I need to come back with with better gear. Please, game, please listen for once in your life. Why can I not leave? But doesn't make no sense. Why can you not leave this area? Len, we can't afford to let that monster run riot. But we're too far away to hit it now. Let's say we group and then come back fresh. Dude, I'm going to die and I I may not have the right gear for this and I can't turn back. Okay, you know what? Okay, so this uh, flame breaker boots cost more than the 1,200. So let's see what else is here. Okay, well this costs more. The flame breaker helm cost more than 1,400. But uh, no, let's just get less more about 1,200. The, the flame breaker boost shouldn't be too bad. Aww. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably go get that. Mm. Dude, can you let me just buy the the mm. flame breaker boost and stop talking so much? Thank you. Mm. Well, at least we got it. So um, I'm gonna have to keep blowing up all of my rubies and get the last one because um, I know we're gonna do. Well, actually, you know what? That's fine. Mm. Nah. I can keep 1,542. I don't want all of my rubies to go to waste. That would be a bad idea. Okay, so let's uh, put on the armor which we did purchase. Alright, well we can keep the bandana on. That looks sick on me. Alright, now moving on. Alright, so I got a perfect picture to take a, a, a perfect shot of this uh, Moragia which we did encounter. So we're going to go right, at, right after that creature if we get a chance. So as you guys can see, because I'm, I'm still on my on my flame breaker boots and the and the the, the, the trouser, the armor that I'm still wearing on. Okay, so it's not just called trouser; it's called armor. So as you guys can see here, cause I already I already got the flame breaker armor already equipped it, and the the one with the boots. Okay, well I'm still keeping on with the uh, the uh, bandana, which I look sick on. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and eat up. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll be the cheesy bacon fish with you. Let's eat one of those. And get back to uh, stepping up our game here. So, we do need to take out that creature one after another. Okay, so we start by climbing. Okay, well, so much of this fire going on there because of which I can't resist. Okay, so you know what? Let's just keep eating. I uh, what 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 more can we start eating? Okay, so I'm ready to go eat one of those raw meat if I get a chance. And we'll definitely be eating more of these hyper hyper herbs. <laughs> Okay, well, in case we run out of juice with stamina and more hearts, then we'll, we'll go ahead and and find some re food resources to get more stamina. So here's what we're going to do. So we will be getting the energizing tomato seafood soup, which we still have. Okay, well, we still got to keep pushing. Okay, every time we climb, we can Link always take damage so much. Okay, Link, you are taking a whole lot of damage. When, what, when are you going to ever survive? Okay, now, I'll, I got here several options. So, I'm going to go with uh, Zashroom for now. And it's so, so far to reach. Alright, well, let's keep pushing. Hopefully, we, we can make it up there on time. Alright, so can we make it? Pretty please? Okay, no, now's not the time for that. Link, get up there! Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna take all the silent shoes we need because we are getting kind of low out of health and everything. 
I don't understand. I'm on my flame breaker gear, and how in the world I'm still being burnt to death? Doesn't make no sense. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get the flame breaker helm because I will be able to finish off of, of selling my uh, my deeds because I'm able to sell several of my rubies and sapphire to go in and get the flame breaker helm. So yeah, now let's go ahead and purchase that. Okay, because that's the only way we're gonna get past through heat resistance because we had to put that flame breaker helm on because we had to go in and keep climbing to take down that Moragia. Okay, so the, the best way to get protection is the, the flame breaker helm, the boots, and the armor. Okay, so that's by far is what why we we do need because we we need to to keep all of our flame breaker armor. Nice and sealed, just the way we look. All right, now let's uh, pick off, pick back where we left off. Oh, oh, wait, man, I see a solution to this. Hold on, hold on. So I think we gotta ride on this. Okay, okay. So you, we weren't supposed to use those zona devices. Okay, hold on a minute, hold on. Uh, let me start back to where I left the off. Alright, so back to where we are because uh, I wanted to change the um the, the way how it looks because uh, I was able to to keep the um the boots and the armor. Not today, we on. Okay, so we took out the first one. So now we got the, the uh, second one up top. So we'll go ahead and ascend. Oh, uh, you know what? We're gonna try a lot to be careful. Don't you patronize me. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn the plane around. And we'll go and take the opening fire to to attack this last of its um Moragia. So we'll go and take a direct strike at it. Okay, but well that was gonna be a misfail. So yeah, we're gonna attack the, the stomach right out of it. We did it! We did it! What was that to fit anyway? I find Princess Zelda walk off somewhere around here. Huh? Whoa! You don't suppose that she fell into that hole, do you? That would be awful. Come on, Link. Let's hurry down there. Alright, let's roll. Princess Zelda, don't you worry. We're coming. Um, okay, hold on, that's the wrong button. That is the, um, the, the pause button when you go look at inventory. So the select button is, uh, on my left. So it says you defeated the other uh, monster that emerged from Death Mountain Crater. But the Princess Zelda was uh, nowhere to be seen. Word of that she may have uh, fallen into the, uh, cal Caldera Yonobo dove into the crater. Uh, okay, I can see that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and return with B. And let's go and follow him. So we will go and take the dive. Okay, so we're just, we're just entering beneath the, um, the hatch. Below it. So we just go enter to the Dead Mountain Chasm. Okay, so the Dead Mountain Chasm is uh, where we're going next. Okay, so hold on. So we can dive with R. And we got several of these obstacles to avoid. Okay, okay, we could not be touching molten rocks in that sort of situation. Okay, so we still got here is um, many more of this uh, new area to go around here beneath uh, Death Mountains. So uh, let's see what we can discover around here as we press onward. So we'll, we'll, we'll be lighting the way by going right after the, with the Mustard Light route. Okay, so there's going to be like more discovery below via the bedrock. The light will dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. Well, yeah, I mean, that's good to know. I mean, we, we, we can need more light. And, of course, it sucks, actually, because the game can't give you reddest restoration in this um in this light. I mean, whatever you, you light at the way above the roots, I mean, you don't get hearts. 
replenish to your light bar. So, uh, where is Junobo at? Where did he run off to? Okay, so everything around you is all hot. Well, not to worry, I mean, I'm still in my flame breaker gear. Just the way I am. Who knew it would look like this inside Death Mountain? Now that I look closer, I see a whole lot of red rocks. Huh? Why would Princess Zelda be down here with all the marble rot roast? Huh? Come. Come. To me. Huh? I'm hearing things again, but I mean, you heard of that too, right, Link? Cause I definitely heard someone speaking just now. Let's see, I think... I think it was coming from that away. Maybe this had to do with Zelda. I got a heaping pile of questions for her, so I let her hurry to, to where Zelda is. Okay, so here's our new adventure log that says here, An area flowing with the lava is at the bottom of the crater. While taking it all in, you heard a mysterious voice call to you saying, Come. A large structure is standing in the distance, but voice it sounded like it was uh, coming from that direction. Well, yeah, well, we able to hear that mysterious voice we already listened to. So, the uh, mysterious voice that is saying, he's saying, is say, he's saying, come. That's what we heard. Okay, but, well, there's uh, many more and uh, a lot of places to do around here in this whole depth. So, we got here is um, several of these poses that we can start by collecting. But yeah, well, let's look at you underneath. Well, would you know tag along with us? I don't know if uh, you know is, is going to come to us. So we see because there is a Zonai capsule. Which we, uh, actually, what is, what, whatever that device is, I mean, we, we can get here, it's, um, it's more of the capsule coming right out of it. So, uh, let's just go ahead and decide to achieve what we can get from the start. Um, let's see, so do we have any more large Zonai charge? Okay, well we do have more but seven. Okay, let's hold on to it. Drop it below the hatch. And we'll go skip this. Okay, so we're able to get more free stuff available. Okay, hold on, so that looks new. Okay, so we are getting here is uh, these batteries. So a Zonai device that holds the concentrate the Zonai charge energy, use it to provide the temporary temporary power for other Zonai devices. Alright, well, uh, at least we'll keep more where that came from. Okay, now moving on. So we'll go ahead and use the, the power of the of the, the bright bloom seed to go and light the way. So where do we patch up more of those bright bloom seed? I mean, we did patch up the, the large ones. Yeah, so we got more about 36, which we had to do. So we'll be lighting up the way, and these are brand new creatures which are not taken. Oh yeah, I already got the fire keys already. Well, we already got picture taken already. All right, good job, Nobo. Thanks for the backup. All right, and let's be moving on. So um, it's time to make our preparations start this way. Okay, so uh, what is this? So did we take a picture? Yeah, we got a picture of that fire light. So the best way to defeat it is by using... Well, yeah, I mean, the, the Chuchi Jelly will have to do. And then we can start by attacking it. The Jubila. Okay, that's the part of its weakness. Okay, so we're able to defeat it, so let's not have everything jump on the floor. Alright, so we go open this to see what we get inside. So we got here the Mighty Construct Ball, which uh, give us more but the but 24. Okay, so uh, we can get rid of the Night Ball. Well, that's almost taking badly damage. And we can proceed onward this way. So um, let's make sure that we, we not miss a chance to, to take any of the pictures. Oh uh, wait, what? Uh, no, I I wish to to drop the 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 bow. Okay, so I already took that mighty construct already. I think I did. Yeah, let's uh, pick it up. 
Okay, so we can press onward this way because it's a long, long way above the mountains. So you can tell how massive these mountains are in every other of these construct construction of that mechanic. So uh, we're ready to move back to the giant bright balloon sea. So let's go use one and go light the way so that we can see where we are. Because everything is just black, faded, and fog. And we couldn't possibly see where we're at because we can barely see all of this uh this drizzle of this all of this fire. Okay, so So my instinct telling me that we had to go in we had to go move straight up this way. So we had to go and follow the sound of the V and the voice of where it's coming from. And we can barely see because there is another light route. And wait, what is that? Is that another of this uh, Lars Poe? I'm looking at here. Okay, so where is Jinobo at? Okay, Jinobo, you're, you're down there. So can you destroy that red rock for me? So that we can clear a path, thank you. And then let's keep lighting the way. Okay, so we just want to know where we are now. So uh, there are several of these poles, and there's another bit of light route. Okay, so uh, let's get right after the light route, if we must. Alright, so uh, we'll go ahead and examine this, go do the skip. And we'll go ahead and reveal what, where we are just now. Okay, so that's one way to surround every darkness. We're able to see a whole lot better. Okay, so there are several more of these rocks. And there's a Lazafo we need to go be up. Alright, well let's go ahead and take it down with the arrows. Okay, so what are, what appears to be happening now? <laughs> Okay, well, we, we can still keep blocking. Okay, come on, guys. I, I need backup support. I, I need you all to be fighting. And stop standing there doing nothing. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm able to take... I'm able to, to take three damage. And another but two damage. Okay, so you just pick up the other rock hammers. Okay, so where are all these fireballs coming from? Okay, so you know what? It's, it's just gonna be rest in peace to my my boss, Poco X. So yeah, we got the Nature Hammer. We'll, we'll go use that. And we'll take another Rock Hammer, if we must. Alright, well, let's keep picking up everything and move on. So what we'll pick up here is a more and more Zone Knights. Okay, and we got here is the fire hydrants. Those uh, zonite fire hydrant is what we're looking at in every other of these, uh, these mechanics. Because they they be put in good use to, uh, to get you across fire. In every sort of situation. Okay, let's see where we're heading now. So we, we must be getting halfway close to where we need to be. So just take a look at where we are now. So we are getting close. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pick up these poles up. So we got some of these poles lying on the floor. And you know what you guys, I think we're going to call it a rest. So um, I believe that's going to be our list. So next time on the list of Zelda 2 of the Kingdom, we are going to continue exploring beneath the, uh, the death at the death mountain. Just exploring, uh, exploring other new places. So that creature is... Um, it's coming closer at 5 o'clock, so it's best that we we get far away. Okay, so we could just drop down, drop below the lava, doesn't really matter. And we can just uh, figure out where we left off. Okay, so uh, it's it's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's hope that creature doesn't come any close. So yeah, so I think that is going to be all it, you guys. So next time, we'll, we'll continue beneath uh, Death Mountain, uh, exploring any other new, new area beneath the Under Wonders of the Death. 
and chasing right after Princess Zelda with Day of Wonder All. So we'll, we'll continue on scavenging hunting to, to looking after the scene where Zelda is and her whereabouts on the next series. So you don't go anywhere and you will be able to tip out and stay tuned on the next series. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you're liking the series and you want to see more of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, be sure to leave an advertise to like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you'll be still up there and notified to when my new and awesome videos up on your way. So that's going to be all it for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We will be picking up more on the next one. So take care guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.